the powers of death have done their worst, but Christ their legions have dispersed. Let shouts of holy joy outburst. Alleluia. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. This is evening prayer for Easter Monday, April the 1st. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 66 and John chapter 14, verse 1 through 14. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Make a joyful noise to God, all you lands. Alleluia. Psalm 66. Alleluia. Make a joyful noise to God, all you lands. Sing forth the honor of God's name. Make God's praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Through the greatness of your power shall your enemies submit to you. All the earth shall worship you and shall sing to you. They shall sing to your name. Come, see the works of God. God is awesome toward the people of the earth. God turned the sea into dry land. They went through the flood on foot, and there we rejoiced in our God. God's might rules forever. God's eyes behold the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. O oh, bless our God, you peoples, and make the voice of God's praise heard, which holds our souls in life and suffers not our feet to be moved. For you, O oh God, have proved us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the net, and you laid affliction upon our backs. You have caused our enemies to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but you brought us out into a wealthy place. I will go into your house with burnt offerings. I will pay to you my vows, which my lips have uttered, and my mouth has spoken when I was in trouble. I will offer to you burnt sacrifices of fatlings with the incense of rams. I will offer bullocks with goats. Come, hear all that you that fear God, and I will declare what God has done for my life. I cried to you, God, with my voice, and you, extolled, you were extolled by my tongue. If I have evil in my heart, you will not hear me. But truthfully, you have heard me. You have attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed are you, which have not turned away my prayer, nor taken your mercy from me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia! Make a joyful noise to God, all you lands. Alleluia! The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 14, beginning at verse 1. Jesus, the way to the Father. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. And Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. And Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. 
And Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe in me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and, in fact, will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me anything, I will do it. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, that we may be pardoned and forgiven our sins and offenses, that there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in your church, and peace in the whole world, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of Francis and Claire and all your saints, entrusting one another and all of our lives to Christ and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Hear our praises, O glorious God, and soften our hearts lead us away from all evil. Heal us of our afflictions. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.